Okay, as we look on the interface, we find we have it right now, by default, three main panels. Inside each panel, you have additional, maybe sub panels or tabs that you can modify and you can move and collapse them. So collapsing, you can go just by clicking and you can see they kind of expanded and collapsing. You also can shrink them or expand. And if you move your mouse, you'll notice the mouse, mouse change to the two arrows point up and down in line. So in this way, I can drag, expand or collapse, resizing this inside the tab. The sub tabs they will change depend on what uh, main kind of viewport or menu you are and again you can readjust um, i find out that the dots 3d studio is very flexible and you can literally create all interface just to fit perfectly your workflow but again we'll just keep it standard for now so right here and you'll notice we have three panels however you have way more panels you can access some of those panels will access as you perform actions, but sometimes you maybe want to give them open. For example, let's go ahead and click on environment. And you notice right here we have our environment tab. We can um, expand, kind of drag and drop to create a larger. And if we work with environment, and for example, I want to preview this, I can open this tab. The nice things, the DAS 3D does support multiple monitors. So right here you can see I move it to different my other monitor and you can take some of these informational windows that maybe you access but not all the time and one be usable sometimes so you can move them on different screen and make it accessible as well so right here you can find multiple tabs and we're probably going through most of them as we're going in our exploring series of tutorials and some of them will access in this series discovering so here is a viewport and viewports we have at the main area where we look right here you can see we have our kind of like 3d look on the scenery but many times when you work you want to maybe view straight from up or down and drop in this viewport we have it preview we can select what type of the view we want it so we want the front right left or top or back perspective but if you need it more than just one window at a time you can always go to viewport and for example can split side per side or you can create it for view perspective front top and left remember you always can change them if you need to just right view from here or you can go to um, different viewports and it's have a lot of predefined already preset for you they also notice on the viewports you can also have an additional customization by moving over your mouse and just repositioning resizing in a way you like better it's fit to you so you're not necessary to restring to specifically viewport that offer right at its time Okay, so let's go ahead and workspace uh, viewports and we'll just set a single view. The next you'll notice right here we have it, a workspace. And a workspace is refer to all this positioning of the panels and viewports we have it around. So some of them does come with the presets. And for example, when we open, you can notice right here we have a different type of the coloring presets, the panels. You can select one that you like it. Of course, you can just let's go set. We can click preview. No, I don't like this one example. And you can see how bars is changing. So we can go cancel, go back to what we had before. Or you can also save layout when you created your own and preload it after when you're done. How I said before, if you for some reason you kind of change layout and you don't like it when you play around, you can always go to select like city limits light or other ones so for example right here we can preview and you can notice it's whatever you like decide so you can go back and select the one you like it let's as example because we're right here you can go to windows workspace and let's click save layout right now or press f okay as as we're playing so we'll, let's go it says tutorial I'll just click accept. So right now this is work. So right now this will 
workflow is safe and we can access by workspace select layout and you'll notice right here we have our tutorial so if you want it you can save this layout you currently have it go ahead and play around select different layouts try to move all windows around and go back to the window and restore it so in this case you feel safe to play around drag windows open some um, panels create viewports play around to repositioning them and come back and restore to what we have it currently okay and one more thing i want to show you before we continue to next portions it is styles the style is help us customize the colors and um, also how it's look it does not change necessarily layout but it does change some of the the way the coloring is going or the color palette so for some reason some text is maybe too dark for you or a color scheme does not fit you can always go ahead and select already predefined some and use it this way okay um additional things on the workspace one thing i need to mention it is a check boxes for additional um, kind of tabs or sub tabs in some case right here you'll notice enable lesson strip so right here you have a specific lesson that you can select it so you can uncheck it and it will leave it clear up more space in your window however I do recommend at least for the beginning keep it this check in so when you have it, any questions you can go to specific lesson and just jump for example viewports this is that does provide lessons and they allow the very fast overview of specific um, questions if you pop up for you and again you can always disable when you feel more comfortable and uh, you always can access other ways but right here we can enable or disable so currently i will just uncheck so we'll have a little bit more space in our view to access and see some properties so let's go ahead and the next tutorial will um, kind of look more on the interface and look on a viewport what properties we have here